Hey church, uh, you've heard from several of our members about why Bible reading this year has been important to them. Well, I wanted you to hear from me um, why I believe it is important. You know, uh, several months ago, in fact it was about a year ago, uh, we started thinking about what we would be doing as far as our, our teaching uh, schedule in 2020. And, and in praying about it, we decided that because 2020 was the year of the Bible, that it would be a good thing for us to do uh, as a congregation, um, just go through the Bible canonically. We actually challenged the church to do three things. One, read the Bible through verse by verse canonically all the way through 2020. Two, to commit to giving more. Um, if you're not giving, to start giving. Uh, three, to share your faith with someone this year. Well, having made those three commitments at the beginning of 2020, none of us could have predicted that 2020 would be what it is. Isn't it interesting how God has prepared us? That he knew that we would need uh, this experience and that we would need to do it together. It's interesting to me um, that uh, providentially, the verse that we were focused on, the very week that the pandemic hit and became a national issue, was Joshua chapter one, verse nine. God said to us as a congregation, as a church, not just individually, but all of us as a congregation, Joshua 1, 9, have I not told you be strong and very courageous and do not be afraid because the Lord your God is going to be with you wherever you go. And we took that as our theme verse. You know, that I'll never forget that Sunday. It was our last Sunday in the worship center. So that, to me, that was indicative of the fact that God all along is just reminding us that he has a word for us and, and, and we're learning together. I, I think that one of the main things that we've gotten out of it as a church is that God has something to say to us during this time. That he, he wants to speak to us directly. And man, has he ever gotten our attention. And, and so even for those of you who haven't started reading yet, I would say, start now. You know, start reading it right now. And, and know that not only will God speak to you personally, but he's also gonna to speak to all of those who are around you in community with you. I guess really what I want all of us to know is that um, even during a difficult time, even during a struggle, um, God has something very specific, very significant to say to us. And in fact, the truth of the matter is, um, we listen to him more in our suffering and in our pain than we do at any other time of life.